Lombardi Trophy, one of the most revered trophies in all of sports. And I've decided I want one of my own. But to hop into a franchise, choose the 92 overall Eagles, and simulate my way to a Super Bowl win, it's just too easy. And it's certainly not how we do things on this channel. So instead, we're gonna start with a zero overall team, and every yard I get is one overall upgrade to any player of our choosing. I guess we're just gonna try fullback dive and see how many yards we can rack up. That's beautiful. That's seven yards. And have I mentioned we're playing on three minute quarters? So I don't have a ton of time in these games to try to get a ton of yards. And we're still stuck at seven. And we continue to do this without much success until the first half was already over. In the first half, we've got 14 rushes for 18 yards with our quarterback and five yards with our running back. That's 23 overall points. Yes, I'll take that. And to no one's surprise, the CPU was able to score on us in just about one play almost every single drive. But we just kept QB sneaking away, trying to accumulate as many yards as we possibly could because there's just no way this first game was going to be a win. Well, after losing 84 to zero, we ended up with 56 rushing yards with Kyle Allen and whoever Troy Harrison is also had five rushing yards. That's going to give us 61 overall points that we can add or spread across our players. I'm going to add a bunch of points to speed and acceleration just so we can have a little bit of movement here. Let's go and add a bunch to throw power. Like even with all the upgrades we've added so far, Davis Mills is still a 12 overall. Overall. So we have got a lot more points that we can add to it. Like, why not max out his speed and acceleration? Why not max out his throw power? Why not give him more accuracy? Madden doesn't let you go to zero overall. So we're going to pretend like 12 equals zero and add overall points based on a pretend zero number. So for him, I'm just upgrading his speed, his acceleration, because that's not going to affect his overall rating too much. And then we'll go to a little bit of his route running. Let's just try to hit like short routes, maybe. Still looks like we're good. You can see in the top there, deep threat, playmaker, physical, and slot are all... 12 overall. But to make things more interesting, after each game, we'll get to spin the Wheel of Lombardi. A wheel full of helpful advantages to help us along our journey, but there's also some harmful punishments that we certainly don't want to get. Come on, Wheel of Lombardi. Give me something good, helpful. There are some horrible punishments I really don't want on this. Make a player a 70 overall. That is huge. We will definitely take that. Let's go running back for this one so that we can also kind of run the ball. We're going to make Damian Pierce a 70 overall. Increase his carrying so he doesn't fumble. We've already got speed, acceleration, and agility on him. I don't really need ball carrier moves, but I do want short route running for him catching out of the backfield. We want stamina so he can keep playing. Now let's go with break tackle. Let's see what that gives him. Let's go with stiff arm. See what that gets him to. And just like that, Damian Pierce is up to a 70 overall. On to game two. Maybe we can secure our first win. It's doubtful. But hey, our team's up to a two overall now. And right away, the CPU asserted their dominance. That's a touchdown. Down seven, nothing. Let's try not not throwing a pick here and we can't even catch the ball. Let's go back to our running back. Let's run the ball here. We're just, we're not going to be able to block at all. So if he can break any tackles, that'll be a big help for us. We've already got 19 yards. Give the ball to Damian Pierce since he was the only player that could make any plays for us. And we worked our way down the field. Now, we don't get anything for touchdown scored. That's okay. Our point system is going to change. Once we get past week four, we're going to make it a little bit tougher for us. But for now, every yard is still so difficult to come by. And I just appreciate every single upgrade point we can get because our entire team is still just awful. Look at us try to kick an extra point here. It's, it's impossible. But our defense is still as bad as ever. And on our last play here, I consider this game a big success. We got in the end zone. We got our first touchdown. We somehow got well over 200 rushing yards, 226 overall points spread across our team. We got some tough choices to make. This video is sponsored by SeatGeek. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek's the number one rated ticketing app. There's more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including sports, concerts, festivals, and more. My Chicago Bulls are coming to Denver to play the Nuggets, and I'm definitely using SeatGeek to cop my tickets for that. With the NBA, NFL, and NHL seasons in full swing, you're not going to want to miss out. Plus, artists like Coldplay and John Mayer are on tour. They always want to make sure you're getting a good deal. So when you're on the app, make sure to look for the green dots. Green means good red means bad. Every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. And you know I came through for you guys. Make sure you use code KINNY for $20 off your tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code KINNY. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. First, let's go ahead and spin the Wheel of Lombardi. What bonus do we get or what punishment? Please don't do me any dirty. Max out all player sliders for one game. That's gonna help 
help us big time cancel out the terrible ratings that we had. I was hoping we'd get this one in the beginning. So for our 226 upgrade points, we know that Brandon Cooks is technically at an 11 right now. Yeah, that was a problem. We had nothing on catching. We're going to max out all of these. We'll max out release. We'll max out jumping, carrying so he doesn't fumble. Now he's up to an 84 overall. After the 73 points we just spent on Brandon Cooks, we still have 153 upgrade points remaining. I'm going to go defensive backs and safeties. Starting first with Desmond King. Max out speed and acceleration. Those are the first ones to go always. Then we'll go agility. Then we'll go catching just in case we get a chance to make an interception. Or we'll change of direction. You obviously need that for a cornerback. Let's get block shedding all the way up. Get play recognition all the way up. He's up to an 87. So that leaves us with 66 upgrade points left. And I want to go with another cornerback here. We're going to take kind of the same approach with him as well. We still have six overall points left that we can use. And I kind of want to see if we can increase Kymie Fairbairn. Really all I want is kick power and kick accuracy. It looks like we're able to add 43 and 30 to these. Not great, but I guess it's a little bit better than it was. And he, of course, is not moved from that 12 overall default. But we get to increase all of our sliders for this next game. Now, it's only one game, but if we can maximize our return from this before we change our point method, I think that's going to really help us. So maybe we can actually get some defensive stops. Maybe we can sneak in our first win. Hey, we're up to a 10 overall. You know what? I'll take that. Our accuracy bar is still not great with Kaimi Fairbairn, but the power one... Never mind. But despite adding stats to some defenders, we still couldn't get a stop. Every time I feel like we're making progress, I just get absolutely crapped on. Okay, so let's not shy away from the run game. Let's do shy away from the run game. And that's another touchdown. I don't think we're still equipped to win any games right now. We just got to keep maximizing our yards. And right when things were starting to go my way... Nope and we fumble. And after we let up another touchdown, we end up finding the end zone ourselves, making it a one-score game. But no matter what we tried, we couldn't get a stop on defense. Okay, safeties are next to be upgraded. And then linebackers. But thankfully, our passing offense is finally starting to make strides. Let's go! We read the press, we read the blitz, and we get a big, big score. This was by far an improvement from game one and game two. We Honestly, if we don't fumble that, I think we win this game. Win it with 189 passing yards from Davis Mills, 71 rushing yards from Damian Pierce, 18 rushing yards from Mills. We're at 278 overall upgrades. Game three was a success. We could start winning games soon. I could feel it. Now, of course, we'll be resetting the sliders back to default for game number four, but let's go ahead and spin the wheel of Lombardi here. Come on, to help us out. Please not a punishment still. Please not a force loss any division rival. The Jags are playing the Eagles, so we're going to go ahead and force loss them. And so the Jacksonville Jaguars will automatically be 2-2 two and two after this week, which will really help us because right now we're 0-3. We have a chance to go 0-4 and, and we've got to somehow make the playoffs. But we're going to spend a lot of upgrade points on Davis Mills here to max out all his quarterback stats. All his accuracies up to 100. Throw on the run. Throw under pressure. Break sack. Play action. All this stuff up to 100. And then I think we're good on Davis Mills. I don't really need any of the ball carrier stats. I'm not too worried about it. So he went from a 49 overall to an 85. That's 36 down. So we still have 242 left. We're going to do Yaiatum. It's our third cornerback and we definitely need to upgrade him. Go all the way up with speed, acceleration, and agility, just like we've been doing for all these guys. And we're going to treat him a lot like we've been treating the other guys. He went from 0 to 59. So that's minus 59 points here. We have 183 left. I want Jalen Petre to start. So let's do the same stats on him. So Petre went up from 0 to 53 overall. That's going to put us with 130 upgrade points left. Now we'll go on MJ Stewart Jr. here and do the same thing to him. All speed, acceleration, catching, press, all that kind of stuff. And that's going to put him up to a 52 overall, leaving us with 78 points still to upgrade. We're going to go Hewitt here. And since this guy will likely be my user, we'll go speed, acceleration, agility, change of direction. But we need strength for a linebacker, definitely. Almost perfect. That makes him 0 to 7 75. We have three points left that we can spend. Let's see what happens if we add to break tackle. That gets him to a perfect 87 for us. And just like that, after an 0-3 start, we're up to a 13 overall offense, a 7 overall defense. It's time to get a win. We have to beat this Chargers team. We're 22 overall at this point. Hey, we're still in the red, but you know, it, it's improvements from a zero. Not to fear, we still can't kick the ball off. Look at that. No, I'm in the backfield and I can't make the tackle and he gets the first down. Oh, I played it perfect. Yep, I'm in the backfield. No, I'm missing the tackle again. I'm right there, man. Oh my God, that's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. Come on, Cooks. Come on, Cooks. Yes! 
absolutely burned his man with 99 speed. Let's freaking go. We got him again. We end up scoring again and taking a two-point lead, but then make a big mistake on the kickoff. With 14 seconds left, that's like perfect. Please, no. No, absolutely. You've got to be kidding me. You're actually joking. We ended up taking the entirety of the second half due to the short quarters. And with eight seconds left, we score the go ahead touchdown. But I make a big mistake and the game is not over. No, 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 no. I did not want to do that. I did not want to do that. I did not want to do that. No, that was an accident. No, 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 no. You've got to be kidding. Make the tackle. Make the tackle. Make the tackle. I literally tried to kick it out of bounds. I've never been so shook in my life, dude. If we lose this game because of the coin toss now, I'm going to lose it. Like, I'm actually going to lose it. Come on. Tails never fails. They're picking. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. I'm going to lose this game because of a freaking coin toss now. I just don't get it, man. I'll kick it out of bounds for him this time. I should have just let it go all the way. But on defense, we go big. Fumble. The hit power. It was the hit power that we gave him. We've got life. Oh my gosh, we can still win this game. Until I make a huge mistake. No! We threw a pick! Are you kidding me? How does he get that jumping animation and I couldn't? Oh, it's gonna be a tie. That is the craziest game of John Madden football I've ever played in my life. We got a lot of upgrade points, so it wasn't a total loss, but I really, really, really did want that win. Davis Mills had 216 passing yards in our last game. Damian Pierce's 83 rushing yards gives us 299 upgrade points after our week four game, despite getting the tie. So I, I think that's pretty much a success. I'm sick of not being able to do it. We're upgrading Kaimi Fairbairn. If I was able to kick last game, we for sure would have won. So I'm not dealing with this again. We are going all the way up with his kick power and his kick accuracy to 99. He went from zero to 58. Takes 58 off of our points, leaving us with 241 upgrade points left. I can't really stop the run right now. So we need another linebacker. That's what I'm going to add here. Jalen Reeves Maben. And we're going to upgrade him just like we upgraded our user. So he went from zero to 96. We'll take off 96 from our total to 145. We're going to go Philip Dorsett here. Catching, catching traffic. Spectacular catch. We've already got the speed and agility. We'll up all his route runnings, of course, because he's a wide receiver. And that is going to put Philip Dorsett all the way up to an 83, leaving us with 62 upgrade points left. And I kind of want to start on our tight end. We can do OJ Howard. And just like that, our 62 remaining points were spent on OJ Howard. Now, of course, it's time to spin the wheel of Lombardi and see what our bonus or punishment will be for game number five, a conference divisional matchup against the Jaguars. Make a player an 80 overall. Sound that confetti, baby. I think we should go maybe with our defensive line because these guys haven't been upgraded at all. Let's go with Lopez here. And of course, since I'm in control, we're going to have a 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 99 agility defensive tackle because that just sounds like a lot of fun and it's not going to affect his overall too much. And just like that, we've got our 80 overall player. Time to get into game number five, a divisional matchup against the Jacksonville Jaguars. We have still have zero wins in the win column. We're up to a 37 overall. That was a pretty big jump. I'll take that. After driving down the field and scoring an easy touchdown, finally, our defense comes up huge. Pick Trevor with an errant pass. 99 speed. No one's catching him. Our first defensive touchdown. Number five, who are you? I don't even know who my own players are, man. But oh my God, Jalen Petre. Defensive score, baby. And now the team is starting to click. He lost him! Let's go! After this game, things are going to get a little bit more difficult for us. Just trust me on that one. Damian Pierce was still on fire. Davis Mills was using his legs left and right, and we were able to scramble in for the touchdown, guaranteeing us the win in week number five. We ended with 175 passing yards from Davis Mills, 33 rushing yards from Damian Pierce, 48 rushing yards from Davis Mills. That's 256 overall upgrade points. Wow, we finally got our first win. I feel so much better. Even though we're one, three, and one, I feel so much better. And week six is our bye week. So we're advancing right to week seven, which is going to be a matchup against the Raiders. It's time to do offensive lines, starting with the gas mask man himself, Laramie Tunsil. And of course we need them all to be 99 speed, 99 acceleration. And just like that, he's gone to an 88. We're down to 168 upgrade points left. Continue on the left side of our line. So we can kind of run to one side if we need to, just to start because we'll have one way better side. And we're going to do the same thing.
playing here. And McCray goes to an 89 overall, leaving us with 79 overall left. It's not exactly going to max out Questenberry here, but we're going to get pretty dang close. And that takes Questenberry up to a 79 overall, using all our overall upgrade points. And our offense is really starting to cook after week five. But I feel really good about our first win against a divisional opponent. Though, despite being fourth in our division still, we're going to make things a little bit more difficult by cutting our upgrade points in half. So if I get 300 total yards of offense, I only get 150 overall upgrade points. We have to keep winning these games. And I have another trick up my sleeve for a little bit later on. Before we jump into our Raiders game, let's go ahead and spin the wheel of Lombardi. Come on, Lombardi. I know you were a Packer. Please don't screw me. Please don't screw me. Please don't screw me. What's it gonna be? Make any player a superstar. Oh my gosh, we've got to do our quarterback, right? I mean, that just seems like the most logical choice. So we're gonna go to Davis Mills development here and make him a superstar. For abilities, we're gonna go with tight out as our first one, which will improve the catching of all tight ends. And for our second one, I guess we'll go with quick draw, which gives him faster passing animations when throwing under pressure. Let's go ahead and hop into week number seven. We're up to a 50 overall heading into this game. I feel a lot better now. The Raiders get off to an early lead and when we have a chance to tie it up OJ Howard makes a big drop and we end up settling for just three points but after giving up three to the Raiders we work our way down the field and score a touchdown right before half but starting the second half we make a huge mistake no 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 now you're gonna be too slow Get out, get out, get out, get out of the, get out. Unbelievable that this is happening. I can't do anything right. And when the Raiders have a chance to take a two possession lead, shanked it. Eight point game. We can tie the sucker up. We score the tying touchdown, successfully go for two and tie up the game at 19, just to work our way down the field again and kick a game winning field goal. That's our second win of the season. Two, three, and one. AFC South, we're coming for you. The Texans, we're coming. We had 173 passing yards with Davis Mills, 60 rushing yards with Damian Pierce, four with Dare Ogumbawale, putting us at 237 overall upgrade points, divided by two, remember, it's gonna be 118. We gotta go with this third receiver option, so we're gonna do the same thing with him that we've been doing with our other receivers. Okay, we got him to an 84 overall, meaning we have 34 upgrade points left, and we're gonna start going back to our offensive line. Doing the same things that we were doing for the other side of the offensive line, and just like that, Green is up to a 34 overall. We're still last in the division, by the way. Let's go ahead Ahead and spin the wheel of Lombardi. Come on, baby. Big money. No whammies. No whammies. What are we going to get? No punishments. Force lost any divisional rival. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it just so happens we're playing a divisional rival. The Titans are also in the AFC South. I think I know who we're going to force loss. And just like that, we are the home team. We're going to force a home win and we'll take our stats from this game. We unfortunately will forfeit any upgrades from this game because we're not the ones getting the stats, but we get the win and we're trying to get a Super Bowl. That's what really, really matters here. Move on to next week, week number nine with a win against a divisional rival under our belt. 38 to 28. That was a hot game. Wow, we're playing the Eagles who are 7 and 0. Oh. Still in the back of my head, I know what's coming for the playoffs assuming we get there and it's going to get a lot more difficult. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel again before we start week number 9. Come on, baby. We've been on a kind of a tear. No punishment so far. I'll take that. Sign any free agent. Okay, that seems pretty good to me. We could sign a right tackle cuz we have C Heck here, who is just the most bland looking dude I've ever seen in my life. Vinny Curry could help us out off the right side. He's a 74 overall speed rusher. Let's go ahead and sign Vinny Curry here. So on the defensive side of the ball, we now have 74 overall Vinny Curry. That's a pretty good one. And we're finally not in last place. We're in second place in our division. Let's go ahead and play week nine against the Philadelphia Eagles who have been absolutely rolling lately. No, wow, that's such a good pass from Hurts. Oh my gosh, how am I supposed to defend that? Oh, that's that's on me. Dang it. Okay, I thought we maybe could make a stop. Touchdown. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown! What a pass from Davis Mills to Philip Dorsett. Come on, O-line, hold up. Hold up. Let's go, man. Yes. Yes! On the dig route. The in to Brandon Cooks. We ran the ball incredibly well, controlled possession, and then upset the undefeated Eagles. Oh, and just like that, we secured the win. 155 passing yards for Davis Mills, plus 79 rushing yards. That's 234 divided by two is 117 upgrade points. Well, let's go ahead and finish upgrading Kenyon Green here and get all his blocking stats all the way up so we feel much better about the right side of our line besides our right tackle. And he's going to go from a third 
34 all the way up to an 89, which leaves us with 62 more upgrade points. Yeah, you guessed it. We're upgrading C Heck over here. But we're going to do the same upgrade stats that we've been doing for every other lineman. However, we can only get him to a 62 overall. And just like that, C Heck is officially a 62 overall. And you know the drill by now. Before jumping into our next game, let's spin the wheel of Lombardi. All right, we've been very fortunate so far. Decrease difficulty to pro for one game. Now, I won't lie. This is mostly good things on the wheel, so it's definitely weighted in that direction, but I'm still surprised we haven't gotten anything negative. I will definitely take it. Up to a 57 overall, and we're in week 10. We've gone from 0 to 57. I'd say that's pretty good. We started off hot with two sacks against the Giants. Another sack! Desmond King with two sacks on the first drive. Then scored two touchdowns of our own. We threw it to our 0 overall tight end. We have not upgraded him at all. He still was able to score and ended up winning this game fairly easily. Now, we only had 122 passing yards with Davis Mills, but we did have 47 rushing yards with Damian Pierce, 15 rushing yards with Davis Mills. For a total of 184 divided by 2 is going to give us 92 upgrade points. I think we should use them to upgrade C Heck here. We'll finish off all his blocking stats to get him to pretty much the highest overall lineman he can be. Gosh, at some point, we're going to have to start upgrading awareness which is going to take a lot. That took him from a 63 to an 89, leaving us with 66 points left. This Wallow guy is just absolutely killing me. So we're going to spend the rest of the 66 points on him. And just like that, we used our remaining 66 points on him. Let's do our next wheel spin on the wheel of Lombardi here. Let's spin the wheel of Lombardi to see what we get to do for our next game. For week number 11, it's going to end up landing on... No! Reset a player back to zero. This was not what I was hoping for. We finally got punished and I was hoping we could avoid this the whole time. We got a different wheel on the screen with all of our positions. Let's go ahead and spin this one and see what we end up pulling here. I'm just, I'm, I mean, I'm seriously praying, dude. Please, not a big position. Cornerback number three. It looks like it lands on. We have to reset our cornerback number three back to zero. Of course, our cornerback three is Yaitum. Again, I don't know who this guy is. He's been playing somewhat well for us because we got him all the way up to a 60. But we'll put all these stats back down to zero. And after we were done changing all his stats back to zero. We hopped into week number 11 against the commanders. And we're not playing for stats this game. We're playing to be able to put our cornerback that was just reset to a zero overall back to where he was at 60 overall. That's what's on the line. We have to get this win because if we lose, he stays at zero. The commanders take an early two touchdown lead, but we have Davis Mills to help us bounce back. Scramble for the touchdown, Mills. Scramble! Get in there! Let's go! Davis Mills takes over, man. They got 41 seconds to try to score, though. And as the half expires... Must! Touchdown! Basically a Hail Mary to Philip Dorsett. And he comes down with it. We have a chance to tie this game. We just got to get the two-point conversion here. And I'll be honest, this is not the defense you want to see when you come out for a two-point conversion. There we go, Damian Pierce. Good job. Tie game before half. Let's go, boys. I'm just going to score here. I don't want to take too much of a chance and go to fourth down. So we're going to get our touchdown. They only have one timeout left. Let's try to make a stop here, boys. We need to get some pressure on the quarterback. No, no. With 18 seconds left, we've got time for a field goal. I got timeouts. Oh, my God. He's wide open. Hit the throw. Three, two, one. We might be in range. Wow, what a clutch play. Brandon Cooks gets the pass from Davis Mills. Kymie loads up. Please kick it in. No, we shanked it. Again, it comes down to a coin toss. We won. Finally, I won the toss on this one. Yes, touchdown. Game, set, and match. That's what happens when we win the coin toss. We win these. Because we won, we got our third cornerback who got beat on that touchdown to Terry McLaurin late. Back to his 60 overall. He should be able to cover again, hopefully. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel of Lombardi. Come on, no whammies, no whammies, no more punishments. I already did one. Sign any free agent. Let's go, man. But we definitely need another defensive tackle, so that's exactly what I'm looking for. Looks like Corey Peters is the best one here. That's the one we're gonna go ahead and sign to our active roster, a seven. 72 overall. I'll take it. And Corey Peters is now in at our defensive tackle number two. The Colts are an astounding nine and two, and we're in second place with a record of six and three. Heading into week number 12 in a away game against the Dolphins. But we've been playing on three minute quarters, and to make it even more difficult for us to achieve yards, we're going to change it to two minute quarters now. And we still have that twist coming for the playoffs. Assuming we even get there. Because now I'm going to be limited to playing just the best moments that Madden decides for me. This could be offense, this could be defense. Either way, I won't 
don't get to play and determine every play in the game. So I hope this goes well. Please pick the right moments for us to play. I still need these wins. And we have to do this from here until we make the playoffs when we're able to play the full game again. First moment, your defense needs help. Let's keep them from the end zone. They're on the 15. See, this is what I'm talking about. We didn't get to stop them this entire drive. And now we're in trouble. Oh, they're going to try to run it. I'm blowing it up. No, we can't tackle. That guy's got 99 tackle, and I still can't tackle. Ah, oh, we choke the first defensive key moment. It's going to be a touchdown. Yes, it is. Come on, Dorset, get your feet in bounds. Let's go, baby. No questions asked. Come on. Flag. Is that PI? Could be PI. Pass interference on the defense. We're going to accept that first and goal on the one. We're just going to go straight to QB sneak with Davis Mills, hoping he can just get in here. And he flipping does, man. We take the lead before half. Second and goal, 24 seconds left. I'm here. No, we gave up the score. It's hard when they get all the way down the field and I'm asked to save the day. Philip Dorsett deep. Touchdown. He's open. He's beat him. He beat him. 99 speed. Perfect throw from Davis Mills. But the Dolphins still have a Tyree kill. All right. Well, money drive time for us now. They just scored in two flipping plays. Uh, goes to another coin toss. Tails never fails. No. Come on, Dorsett. Come on, Dorsett. Beautiful pass. Another overtime thriller. This time with 37 seconds left. And Dorsett comes up huge again. So even though we didn't get a control Davis Mills the entire game, he still had 325 yards. 37 from Damian Pierce. And Davis Mills had another one to throw on top of it. That's 363 divided by two. We got 181 overall upgrade points. I like to get some better abilities on Davis Mills. So let's take him from an 85 all the way to a 99. And I know to do that, you obviously need awareness. You guys tell me this all the time. So he's up to a 99. Puts us at 167 left. But let's see what abilities he gets. He now gets Hot Route Master for his first ability. And we're going to put Long Range Dead Eye on him as well. Now let's do our fourth receiver here. It's going to be Nico Collins. He's only at a zero overall still. So we're going to try to get him basically all the way up on par with our other receivers. So obviously all the catching stats. You're catching your spectacular catch. You're catching traffic. He's now a 90 overall. He's actually going to become our second receiver. And that means we have 77 left. I'm thinking can we put it on Jerry Hughes Jr.? Is he still a zero overall? One of our only zero overalls left. And just like that, Jerry Hughes Jr. is a 77 overall. The Colts are 10 2. We're still in second place, but we're headed into week 13. Before we jump into our next game, it's time to spin the wheel of Lombardi. Can I not get punished again this time? Um, I would love that. It would be beautiful, even though I'm wearing a Packers jersey and I pride no way. You've got to be kidding me. Reset a player back to zero. Again, man. Oh, this is killer. You know, our free agent edition, Corey Peters, is a 73 overall. We didn't get to really build him our way. We're going to reset him back to zero. And of course, if we win this game, we'll get to put his stats back up to a 73 overall. If we lose it, he'll stay at a zero overall. And just like that, he's a zero. This game was an absolute massacre. I couldn't do anything right on offense or defense. And once the lead was way too big to come back from, we scored a few touchdowns just to help our ego recover slightly. He's going to return an onside kick. That's oh God. I'm embarrassed. I'm so I'm super embarrassed. Well, we took a fat L against the Browns. That's definitely going to hurt us. And we don't get to bring that player back up to his other overall. We weren't playing for stats that game. We were just playing for that player. That really stinks. But let's spin the wheel of Lombardi. And hopefully it's a little bit nicer to us. Come on, please. Give me something fun. Something good. Wheel of Lombardi. Decrease difficulty to pro for one game. I'll take that because we absolutely need the win. Change it to pro in our league settings and head back out. Well, the Colts are 10 and 3. At least they lost. But we are 7 and 4. As it stands right now, we we are the five seed. Wow, we're actually looking pretty good. Okay. The Colts are the first in the AFC. That makes me feel a little bit better, but five seed is a wild card team. We'll take that. Facing off against the Cowboys. We're a 62 overall. All right, boys, play the sticks. We're playing the end zone here. Two minute warning is already passed, and it's just their first drive. We're just trying to block everyone here. Nope, that's not going to get you a touchdown. I'm okay with that. We hold them to a field goal. We'll use a timeout. Oh my God. OJ Howard just absolutely smoked his defender. And he's too fast, bro. Let's go down to the nine. Come on, Pierce. Get in the flipping end zone, brother. Thank you. Seven to three. Right across the middle. Right across our safety's face, man. He cannot make a play for his life. What happened? I get the ball back and it's seven to 17. What happened? Oh my God. My defense is selling, boys. And I don't even get it to do anything about it. Touchdown. Oh my God. Wide open. Wide open. Tyler Johnson. Good job, man. Let's go. We took the sack. They're going to waste another 40 seconds. We're going to have 20 seconds to go down the field here with no timeout. That's a tough order. And with zero seconds on the clock, we give ourselves a chance. No, 
Oh, we might have had a chance, but couldn't come up clutch. We had 172 passing yards with Mills, plus 29 rushing yards with Pierce. 29 rushing yards with Mills is 230 divided by two. We got 115 upgrade points to use. Well, considering we cannot stop the run, I'm going right back to Peters here. We're going to put him like a 99. And after we change all his stats, that ends up making our defensive tackle number two, Peters, a 99 overall. We got 16 upgrade points left. I feel like we got to keep using him on defense. We're going to use him on Petre here. We can make him a 70 overall. I think him being a 70 is going to help us a lot more on defense. For now, let's spin the wheel of Lombardi. Come on, wheel of Lombardi. Come on, wheel of Lombardi. Don't punish me, please. All right, this one's going to be make any player a superstar. Why not make Desmond King a superstar? Which is going to give us some abilities to put on him. And we'll end up putting tip drill for our first ability. And for our second ability, we'll put unfakeable. Week 15 against the Chiefs. Here we go. I'm just really not focused on getting a bunch of yards. So if I can snap this before we would go down to zero, that would be great. There we go. Great block from 59 there. Oh my gosh, Mahomes, what a dot. Holy crap, what a dot. That was the prettiest touch test I've ever seen. But thankfully, we clocked the rest of the second half and end up scoring a game-winning field goal right through the uprights to win us this game against the Chiefs. Under week 16, we only had 107 points from Davis Mills, 31 rushing yards, plus Damian Pierce is 26. That's 164 divided by two is 82 upgrade points. I want to update our safety here, and he goes from a 54 all the way up to a 99. We've got 37 points left. Let's put him on our cornerbacks again. With 37 points left, we can pretty much take him up to a 99. Alright, we got him up to a 97. Now let's go ahead and spin the Wheel of Lombardi here to see what contribution is towards our next game. The Wheel of Lombardi is going to give us, make a player a 99 overall. That's what I want to see, man. I'm going to go with this Murray guy because then we'll have two really good strong safeties. Instead of getting Petre up to a 99, we're going to get him all the way up from a 0 to a 99. And just like that, we've got another 99 nine player on our team another divisional matchup it's a big one Oh boy, how did he get burned so bad? Third and eight, this is a big down for us. Hopefully we get the time in the pocket. I'm eyeing OJ Howard. I think we're gonna have, oh yeah, OJ Howard just, I mean, so naked open. It's like maybe a little cover three here. Oh, my instant pressure, who let him through? So we take our three and make it a tie game and then get the ball back. Perhaps we've got a good opportunity. OJ Howard just burns the crap out of his man. Stiff arms that man and gets in the end zone. Big touchdown from OJ Howard. We tried our best to get in the end zone, but we're unable to so we settled for three and made it a two possession game a wide open oj howard he's just gonna keep running because he's too fast he's too big he's too strong huge lead against the titans this can put the game away entirely it's pretty much already over but i'm gonna try to score here anyways that's gonna be a touchdown oh never mind and just like that, we're able to get the victory with 237 passing yards from Davis Mills. Damien Pierce had 48 rushing yards. Davis Mills had eight. We ended up with 293 points divided by two. That's 146 upgrade points. We're going to take Wallow here up from a 66 to a 99, leaving us with 113 points. Next, we'll upgrade Hewitt to a 99. With 91 points remaining, we're going to get Desmond King to a 99 so we can change his abilities to some of the best ones available. And for his ability, we're going to put Acrobat on the first one and then one step ahead on the second one. We're going to get Scott Questenberry up as well. With 61 points left, we can get OJ Howard here to a 99. We'll get Brandon Cooks to a 99. Man, we are just maxing out everybody right now, which will give us some new abilities for him, including Route Technician for the first one and Route Apprentice for the second one. And we'll go back to Curry here with our remaining 13 points and get him up to an 87. Now we spent all those points. It's time to spin the wheel of Lombardi. Come on, baby. Give me something good, please. Please force win sim the next game. Beautiful. That's exactly what I want to see. Week 17. We are the home team. We get to force win. Let's go. We are now 10 and 5. We won't count the yards from that one, but let's go ahead and spin the wheel again. Come on, wheel of Lombardi. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Simulate next... We got two sibs in a row. Are you out of your mind, Wheel of Lombardi? I'm guessing we're probably going to lose this game, considering we're going up against pretty much the best team in the NFL within this season. So we'll go ahead and advance the week again here. 
And we are in the playoffs. Thank God we made it to the playoffs with a zero overall team. We're facing off against the Browns. Since we're in the playoffs, we're going to go from all pro skill level to all Madden, which makes a massive difference in the difficulty of the AI opponent. We're also upping the quarter length back to five minutes to make this a little bit more regular of a game. This is the final roster. We achieved a 77 overall. No more upgrades for our team. We are locked in at this point. No more Wheel of Lombardi to help us out or bail us out. It's time to play our wild card game against the Cleveland Browns, and we'll only be playing the key moments. So some of this will be out of our control, but we're going to do our best to win this game. Because remember, if I don't win the Super Bowl, I have to give away a jersey to one lucky person over on Instagram. It's linked down in the description. Go ahead and give me a follow over there. Our first opportunity, we're down 7 nothing already, and all of our uniforms are white. That was not smart on my part. But it's 7 and nothing. We can hope Damian Pierce can get into the end zone, and we tied this game up 7 a piece in the first quarter. Third and 10. Big chance to make a stop here. Hopefully, we can get some pressure on Watson. I'm going to have these guys over the middle, and we get the sack. Lopez comes in clutch, and we keep them to zero points on their next drive. I'm on the seam. I'm on the seam. I'm on the seam. I'm on the slant. We're another sack. Let's go. Kick is up. Kick is good. 10 to 7. We've got 47 seconds left to try to go get some points before half. Yes. Dot. Get in there, please. 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 Nico Collins! We take the lead with that score after getting the ball at half. I'm on the running back, please. Please. God, that safety stinks, dude. You deserve to get hit by your own teammate there, bro. He's crossing right in front of your face. First and 10, three minutes left. We got to make sure this is the last possession of the game. It's a three-point game, so we've pretty much at least secured ourselves a field goal here. Damien P... Oh, my gosh. Damian Pierce is so good, dude. I'll take the touchdown. <laughs> we got to turn to our defense. We ended up running down the clock to just about 20 seconds left. Kicked a field goal to go up by seven and won our wild card game. On to the next round. On to our divisional game against the Denver Broncos, who are currently 10 and seven and an 83 overall team. All right, Pierce, two yards to get into the end zone here. Truck yourself in and we get in for the touchdown. That's going to put us up seven to nothing against the Denver Broncos. They ended up kicking the field goal. We've got it third and two again with a seven to three lead at the end of the first quarter. I'm giving the ball to Damian Pierce on this third down. Oh my God, look at the blocking. Holy cow, receivers go hard. Unfortunately, we ended up at fourth and 17. So I guess the CPU didn't do too well for us there. We're gonna end up taking our field goal for 46 yarder, assuming Kaimi can put it through. The six mile per hour wind, perfectly timed kick up and good 10 to 3 seven point lead all right pierce give us a 17 to 6 lead here on the last play of the half and he does 17 to 6 at halftime let's go texans we're gonna go to a little pistol here with damien pierce just hand the ball off to the right side here Assuming we have the blocking. He's just so good, bro. He's so good. And then we throw a dime to Howard. Absolute money, bro. What a pass from Davis Mills. Exactly where it needed to be. And we easily move past the Broncos. Absolutely crushing them in the divisional game as we move on to the conference championship. Our AFC championship game is against the 9-7 Chargers at an 87 overall. That's actually a little surprising to me. But clearly they've been doing something right if they're in the AFC championship. Let's go get this W and make our way to the Super Bowl. We get the sack on the first play. Let's go, Desmond King. Absolutely cooking up that pressure. Pick. I lurked him. Can we return this? He's so fast. Nobody's going to catch him. 99 speed on our linebacker. I just lurked Justin Herbert all by myself. Let's go, man. Pick six is the momentum turner that we needed right there. Going to get pressured again. Oh my gosh, easy touchdown. Nico Collins on our favorite passing route. Pick, pick, pick. No, we just got mossed. What an awful play. We got no pressure and Mike Williams just absolutely mosses us. What the heck, man? Of course I had a timeout and I couldn't use it. Oh my God, they took a seven point lead before half. It's time to score a touchdown and go out and, and, and at least tie this game up. Thank you. Great job, Damian Pierce. No way. Defensive turnover. We got the ball on the two again. I'm doing it again, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, defense set us up so well and we take the go ahead score. And just like that, victory formation. We're going to the Super Bowl where it's all on the line one game 
have left against none other than the Green Bay Packers. I can't wait to take this stupid jersey off. The punishments have been too severe. And this, I can't think of a better way to go out in style than beating Aaron Rodgers in the Super Bowl with our zero overall team. We're in the Super Bowl. We've already got a seven to nothing lead. I didn't even have to do anything for that. That was all the CPU sim. Thankfully, we're able to hold them to three. As long as they don't fake it, they do. It's up seven to three, 450 left in the second. Come on. Come on, Damien. Let's go, man. Perfect Super Bowl so far. You know, Davis Mills has been such an MVP this entire season. We're going to go ahead and run the QB sneak, see if he's able to sneak his way into the end zone. And he does. 21 to 3. Take that, Packers. God, I can't wait to take off this jersey. And just like that, zero overall team. Get rid of this jersey. It's gross. I don't want to see it anymore. The confetti comes down, baby. And if you like this video, I made Patrick Mahomes into a zero overall and tried to win with him. Go watch that video.